Good morning. It's Monday, February the 8th. And I want to show you what my temperature is showing outside. If it'll come up. 18 degrees. <laughs> it's cold. Ah. Uh, yeah, snow. And yeah, snow's melted a little bit, but still covered. I don't know trains, but here's a cat. Coming right to my car. And the birds are going after the seed. Seems like the trains down here are getting fewer and fewer and fewer. Well, they're working on the poles in front of the old Palmco building. I don't know if they're replacing poles or just doing transformer and wire work. I was asked to do one across the 15th Street Bridge and into Port View Liberty Borough area. I, I hope I have enough room in this phone to ride around a little bit. If it cuts off short, you know, for running out of room, I apologize. But this is the 15th Street Bridge. This is the third bridge that I know of here, that I know of. I rode over the last one that was here and this one. And my parents used to tell me the first one used to be so rickety it bounced all around when you drove across it. That one I do not remember, but there's our sign. Welcome to Port View. big hurry and I'm not trying to go real fast okay come on go around If memory serves, this building straight ahead with a couple of white roll-up garage doors was at one time a Volkswagen place. Maybe just foreign cars. But I remember being little and seeing Volkswagens sit in there when my father would drive over here.
Ripper T. Burrow. In the Sunoco station, 269 gas prices are going up. on the corner on our right I don't know if it still is it was Liberty Dairy I used to get breakfast in there after working over here all night long that at the time was Liberty Manor care home I guess it's empty now too huh 8th Street. Yeah, I guess it's all closed up now. And the A-Team's coming by me. Before uh, Liberty Manor Care Home, I think... I think it was Wilson Christian Academy, but as always, if I'm wrong, somebody please tell me and let me know. Isn't there a dollar store? Yeah, they're closed. Look, they look closed. There was a dollar store there. Yeah. Go up to the church here. If I can. I think I just passed it. My son got married here. Shout out to you, Rob, Christy, St. Eugene. I think this will take us up through the school, I think. There's, I guess, a uh, fire department back there. Not this building. Next one back there that you can barely see.
we're on Elizabeth Street. the school. Speed bumps. Guess that's the field up there. Speed bump. And another one. South Allegheny. High School Drive. I think this will take me over to Washington Boulevard. Go down there, you can go down into Glassport.
there'll be a Methodist church up here on the right hand side we used to come over to with uh, with Jack to uh, work on and play with our toy trains management and here's the church I was mentioning I think it's a Methodist church Make the right in here. And there's a Dollar General up through there, which I should have tried to catch. And cemeteries here to the left, which names I can't seem to remember. There's this one, which is a better place to see. And there's this one. This one here, before, although I guess before a lot of those headstones got put in in burials, my niece used to sled ride down that hill. She's in her 30s now. And then we have this one. Calvary. Yeah, I couldn't remember their names. McClure and New York were on. Pretty big cemetery. I used to have a friend who lived in his corner house a few years ago. I don't know where they moved to. This is Dearson. D-E-R-S-A-N. Now we're going to go down the hill by the, what is it, a VFW down here on the left, but since I have cars, I'm going to pull over that are coming up behind me. Stay over, got some more coming.
If I would go to the right here, come on, it'll take me back down toward the 15th Street Bridge that I came across. But the camera still has room, it's not shut off yet, so I'll try to catch some more. There are days with his phone camera that I can film 30 minutes. And other days it'll kick off in six or seven minutes. And I don't understand why. Overlook downtown McKeesport. There's a set of apartments up in there. And the only reason I even know they're there is because my son lived there after he got married for a while. Here we have the Unimart police station just passed. Darkas. This intersection has always amazed me. <laughs> You got four roads coming into the intersection. Does anybody remember Rendulic's packing? Uh, no, yeah, I can still do this. No cars behind me. And Twisted Sisters. I don't know if they're still open or not. As an oldie but a goodie. Definitely. Heat in my car is pumping good. Well, I didn't think it was as much over here as it is over where I'm at in McKeesport, but there's a home being tore down, well, already tore down. Minifield. Yeah, J. Dell.
Yeah, I'm not sure of my way out of here. So I'm not. Well, here's where I have a question because I don't know if I'm right. Was this place here Rendolic Packing? And if it was, are they still under the same name? I do not know. Forgive me. Is that Upston Avenue? Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Thank you for having the flag out. I keep one on. 365 days a year flying. This will take you down to the elbow room and Fifth Avenue. We're going to make a right on Hunter. And back on the Romine. not going to point out his house, but on my way by, shout out to my friend Jack. I hope you're doing well. And over there to McKeesport.
in, I think it's a VFW up there, I think. As I said, anybody knows any different, please tell me. Pull over because I got another car coming behind me. I'm trying not to rush through this. Port View VFD parking only. Okay. And, geez, I can't read the name. There you go. Fire department. And back down the hill. Down under the 15th Street Bridge down here, 